Hi, I'm Andrew Jacobson, OBO professor at Colorado State University, and today I'll be helping you prepare for the Colorado All-State Band and Orchestra auditions. This year's FAST etude is found on page 13 of the Voxman Selected Studies for Oboe. It's marked Allegro Moderato con Fuoco and is in E minor. The etude originally appears in Fairling's 48 Studies for Oboe. We'll be covering three general topics, style, how to play quick, repeated, articulated notes, and general practice techniques for difficult passages. So let's talk about style first. As I was saying, this etude is marked con fuoco. In Italian, that means with fire. So you want lots of energy, lots of fireworks. The tempo marking, however, is allegro moderato, which really is not that fast. So you have to find a way to balance the kind of slower, slow-ish tempo with a lot of energy, um, especially with the suggested tempo for this um, audition being 92, quarter note equals 92. So really balance that, the, the fast with the, with the tons of excitement and energy. This etude has lots of quick repeated articulated notes. For example, in the very first measure, we have 12 notes in a row. Um, so to keep, to keep those notes moving, you have to make sure you have a really light tongue and keep it close to the reed. Um, another thing that really helps is to have direction in those notes, a subtle crescendo as you go. Um, one really uh, helpful way to practice this uh, that I learned from Rebecca Henderson, a former teacher of mine, um, what she calls ricochet tonguing. So what you do is you have, you, you play notes, da da, just two notes at a time, da da, and then reverse it, da da. So the emphasis first time is on the first note, the second time it's on the second note. And um, then you do three notes, da da da, and then you change it so the emphasis is on the second note, da da da, third note, da da da. And you keep adding notes like that. So then you'll do four notes, and then five notes, and then six notes. When you get to six notes, you put the emphasis on the first note, da 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 da, da. and then the second note, da 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 da, da. and you go through all the way until you have the emphasis on the last note. Um, if you do that a little bit every day, you'll find that your tongue is getting quicker and lighter, and, and it just makes things easier. Finally, let's talk about general practice techniques for difficult passages. For us, measure four is pretty tricky, so let's talk about that. Um, there's three things that will really help you. First, you want to just play little small chunks, nothing, nothing bigger than, than you can handle and play perfectly. Um, so we might just take the first beat, the first five notes going from beat one into beat two, so. And you might just loop that a few times, speed it up a little bit if you can, but never play faster than, than you um, are capable of. And then you'll do the next, the next beat. Loop that for a while until that's really, really comfortable. And then you can put those two together. Get that fast and comfortable. And then the second half of the measure, second half of the measure you can do the same thing. Just play that third beat going into the fourth beat. And actually, um, you always want to end on a beat. So, so you'll, for, for that third beat, we go all the way to the fourth beat. That's kind of a good rule of thumb in general. Um, and then you'll practice the fourth beat and then put those together. And once you have that beats three and four solid, then you put the whole measure together. Um, and then you can speed that up. So that's number one. Number two um, is you wanna start slow and click it up. So get out your metronome, start at a really comfortable tempo that you can definitely play perfectly every single time. Once you've done this thing where you built it up from smaller chunks, take that measure that we just did, start really slow, um, and then click it up and see how fast you can get without making mistakes. That's the second thing. Uh, the third thing is practicing a section with a variety of rhythms. It helps your brain to kind of grasp it if, you have, um, if you're approaching it from a lot of different ways. So for example, you can use dotted rhythms. And you can reverse the dotted rhythm, etc. Um, you could play an eighth note followed by a sixteenth note triplet. And there are lots of other things you can do. Um, just make it up and have fun. Uh, I have a whole list. If you want to email me, feel free and I can send you a list. Thanks very much for listening and good luck with your audition. Feel free to contact me if you have any other questions. Now I'll play it for you. <laughs>